Welcome to this presentation about how to apply for master studies at Lund University. This is the fifth in our series of recorded presentations introducing you to Lund University and how to apply to studies with us. If you are considering applying to master studies, we're sure you have many thoughts and questions about how to make a correct and complete application. Let's start. The first step is always to find a master's program you're interested in and eligible for. At Lund University, we offer over 100 master's programs across a wide range of subject areas. Luckily, all master's programs on offer are fully taught in English. Most of our master's programs are two years in duration, while some programs offered within business, economics and management are one year in duration. Go to lunduniversity.lu.se-programs to see all programs on offer. On each program webpage, you will find a program overview and a program fact sheet, as well as information about entry requirements, selection criteria, tuition fees, and how to apply. When figuring out which master's program may be a great fit for you, checking the entry requirements is an important first step. There are a few different types of entry requirements you have to consider, so let's go through them all. First up, we have the general entry requirements. In order to meet the general entry requirements for master studies in Sweden, you must have a bachelor's degree or be in the final year of your bachelor's degree when applying. You must also be able to demonstrate that you meet the required level of English 6. On universityadmissions.se, you can find details on how to prove your English language proficiency. Depending on where you have previously studied, there may also be additional country-specific requirements you have to consider. For example, you may have studied in a country where a four-year bachelor's degree is required in order to meet the general entry requirements for master's studies in Sweden. Go to universityadmissions.se and check out the country-specific page for the country in which you completed your bachelor's studies. In addition to the general requirements mentioned, you must also meet the program-specific entry requirements for the program or programs you want to apply to. Most programs require you to have a bachelor's degree in the related subject while some programs are more flexible or even open to applicants from any academic background. Check the information under the tab Requirements and Selection on the program webpage for more details about the entry requirements for the specific program. So, have you found a master's program or even several master's programs you're interested in and eligible for? Great! It's time to get ready to apply! Our main application round runs from mid-October to 15th of January each year for studies starting in late August. We do want to highlight that the majority of our programs only start in late August each year and hence will not start in spring. For that reason, all students are recommended to apply in the mid-October to 15th of January application round. All applications are made online via universityadmissions.se. This is the national application portal to use when applying for studies at any Swedish university. Start by creating an account. When creating an account, do make sure to add an email address you have access to and check regularly. The email address you provide will be the one we use to communicate with you during the application process. After you have created an account, you can choose the programs you want to apply for. You can choose up to four master's programs at any university in Sweden in your application for studies. Just make sure you only apply for programs you're eligible for. If you apply for more than one master's program, it's very important that you rank your programs in order of preference. You can only be offered admission to one program in your application for studies, and the program you have selected as your first choice will be the first program allowed to offer you admission. 
If they do not offer you admission, the second choice in your list may do so. So, in the end, the program you want the most should be ranked as your first choice and the others should be considered as backup options. 15th of January is the deadline to choose your programs via universityadmissions.se and to rank them in order of preference. You will not be able to add programs to your application after the 15th of January deadline, nor change the ranking of your choices. While 15th of January is the deadline to choose and rank your programs, there is also a second deadline to keep in mind. The deadline for all your supporting documents to be received by university admissions in Sweden. When applying for studies, all supporting documents must be correctly received no later than 1st of February. There are two sets of documents you have to consider when applying for studies at Lund University. First of all, you have to submit all general documents required by university admissions in Sweden. These documents include transcripts of completed courses and grades for each semester included in your degree and your degree certificate. Check the country-specific rules for the country in which you completed your bachelor's studies, as there may be additional rules in terms of how to submit your documents. We ask you to also submit proof that you meet the required level of English. English 6 is required by most programs, but a few programs may even require you to submit IELTS scores. Check the program webpages, just to be sure. If you're in the final year of your bachelor's degree when applying for studies, you should submit your transcripts thus far, including an official proof of enrollment status showing that you are enrolled in the final year of your bachelor's degree program. Most, but not all master's programs, also request program-specific documents, such as a CV, a statement of purpose, reference letters, or even a portfolio of your own work. Check the Apply section on the program webpage for details on what program-specific documents may be requested by the specific program you're applying for. While some programs provide you with a template you must use, others do not. If no template is provided, you can use your own template for the documents. If a template is, however, provided by the program, it's very important that you do use that template. It is worth mentioning that the program-specific documents are unique for each program. If you apply for more than one program and they both ask for a statement of purpose, you have to provide one unique statement of purpose for each program. And also, do not submit any documents that are not asked for, as they will generally not be considered. If you are a non-EU citizen applying for studies, you are required to pay an application fee to university admissions in Sweden in order for your application to be assessed. The application fee is 900 Swedish kroner. You only need to pay the application fee once, even if you apply for multiple programs or programs at different universities in Sweden. The application fee must be received by university admissions in Sweden by 1st of February hence the same deadline as the document deadline. If your payment is not received by the deadline, your application will not be assessed further. On universityadmissions.se, you can find all the details you need regarding how to make the application fee payment. If you're an EU or EEA citizen, however, you are exempt from the application fee as long as you submit proof of EU EEA citizenship status by 1st of February. So, 1st of February is the deadline for all your documents to be received correctly and for your application fee or proof of exemption to be received by university admissions in Sweden. It doesn't matter in which order you submit your documents and pay the application fee or prove your exemption. You can do this at any time from mid-October when we're open for applications to 1st of February. 
nor do you have to submit all documents at the same time. In the end, the important part is that it's all done correctly by 1st of February. Once you have submitted your documents and paid the application fee or proven your exemption, your application will be assessed. Admissions officers at university admissions in Sweden are the first ones to assess your application. They will take a look at your general documents to ensure you meet all the general requirements for master studies in Sweden. If you meet the general requirements, your application will be passed on to the programs you have applied for. The programs will then assess your application to see if you meet the program-specific requirements or not. We often get questions related to what the programs look at when assessing the applicants. Go to the tab Requirements and Selection on the program webpage to learn more about the program and what they base their selection on. Please note that the selection criteria can vary between programs. When applying, you will unfortunately not receive a confirmation email confirming that everything is okay with your application. It is your responsibility to make sure you have submitted all the required documents correctly. In fact, you will most likely only be contacted by University Admissions in Sweden if anything in your application is missing or must be corrected. In other words, it's usually a positive sign if you're not contacted by the admissions officers during the application process. If, however, you do receive a message saying you need to correct or add any documents to your application, you must correct this by 1st of February. Documents submitted after 1st of February will not be considered in the application round. For that reason, we have two top tips for you. First of all, submit all required documents and pay the application fee or prove your exemption early on. In that way, your application will start being assessed earlier, meaning you can receive any feedback before the document deadline and in that way have time to correct any mistakes. The second tip is to regularly check your university admissions account to see if you have received any messages from the admissions officers. Admission results are announced in early April via your universityadmissions.se account. All applicants will receive their admission results on the same day, so it's an exciting day for sure. To round off this presentation, let us give you some top tips for a successful application. First up, start by making sure you've checked all entry requirements before applying, both the general requirements and the program-specific requirements for the program or programs you are applying for. Remember to also check any country-specific rules that apply to you. Then make sure you have all required documents ready to submit, including proof of English language proficiency and any program-specific documents that may be required. It is highly recommended to submit your documents and to pay the application fee or submit proof of exemption early on. Do not miss the deadlines. We do have deadlines for a reason, and they are strict. Finally, check your emails regularly. You may receive messages from the admissions officers and will definitely receive emails from the international marketing recruitment team throughout the application process. It could be a good idea to also keep an eye on your spam folder, just in case. Do you still have questions about how to apply for master studies? If so, you can always contact the International Marketing Recruitment Team. They are happy to assist you through the application process. Go to our website, lunduniversity.lu.se, to find more details about our degree programs and the application process. Also watch our other video presentations about Lund University and how to connect with us. We look forward to your application.